Tip Benson here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Gabrielle Chanel. So give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time here, and also if you're a fragrance lover like myself, I encourage you to join a community of fragrance lovers from around the world. It's my private Facebook group called The Fragrance Society. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And let's get started. Leave a comment right now and let me know what are your thoughts on Gabrielle Chanel. And also, I'd like to hear what is your fragrance of the day, your scent of the day. Mine just so happens to be Gabrielle Chanel. Loving this one a lot and I'm gonna tell you why. So if I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would say it's fresh, it's feminine, and it's pleasant. The notes of the fragrance are jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, and ylang-ylang. So it has those four components, which is simplified in the bottle of the fragrance. As far as uniqueness, I would consider this unique to Chanel. This is something that is very different for the Chanel brand in the sense that it's a lighter, more ethereal interpretation of fragrance. Still having that Chanel DNA, which I kind of really am digging. Some Chanel's are really hard to wear, and you know, every day is not a Chanel number no. five day. Say for example, if you're a Chanel girl, or you find yourself being a Chanel ambassador, every day is not a Coco Mademoiselle day. Every day is not a Chanel number no. five day. Sometimes you just wanna be pleasant and smell good, but not be a siren you know, plowing through your office or plowing into any room. This is more sophisticated in the sense that it wears closer to the skin. And I feel like it also wears like a fabric spray, like a very high-end fabric spray, which I'm all about. When it comes to versatility, you can wear this as much as you like actually in the directions it says that you can apply it on the skin or on fabric and spray it generously so i think that this was intended to be used more as a like body spray type of fragrance and i i almost wish they would have educated more on that just so that the consumer knows spray this generously as you wear it this fragrance is really good for layering. I would wear this with, hold on, Molecule One, or I would wear, I would layer it with, say like a Coco Mademoiselle, which this kind of smells similar to, not for nothing, just the opening anyway. Really like this type of perfume for something like that. It's actually perfect. For something like that because you really don't want to spray or respray like an Allure or Coco Mademoiselle again during the day like that's too much but this on top of it you know you know give me like some beautiful elegant vibes as far as projection this is gonna give you medium to low projection and I know some of my fragrance people out there are gonna hate that it it doesn't project that well. But again, I don't think it was meant for that. And I, I have to say, like when I wear this on the skin, it doesn't really stay on the skin. But if I spray this on my clothes, like I can smell my clothes the next day and I could still smell this fragrance. So I think that this would be better suited for spraying on your clothes versus on your skin, especially if you want it to project and move with you throughout the day. Longevity. So <laughs> longevity is about two to three and sometimes three to four hours. It's a resprayer. And again, I don't mind that. I've just reached a point in my fragrance journey where if a fragrance smells good, I'm gonna respray. Am I gonna buy a $400 bottle of respraying juice? No, 
Am I gonna buy a hundred dollar bottle of something to respray and respray if I like the way that it smells? Yes. I've been testing this for, wow, I've been testing this for almost two months now and I've been loving it. I bought this when it was a limited release, when it was only being sold at the Chanel boutique. So I've had some experience with wearing it. I spent a hundred and $35 on it. Is it worth it? Yes, I do think that it is worth it and I, I'm not upset that I bought it at all. I've been wearing it and which means that I've been able to fit it into my rotation amongst a hundred different other fragrances that I have and love and own. So in my opinion, I think it's a keeper. Also, I think that the packaging is really beautiful and it looks super decadent sitting on top of your dresser or wherever you like to house this baby. It came with a bag so that you can protect it and I do when I actually go to the gym and I just like put it in the bag. This is my after the gym scent. Like I wouldn't wear this when I work out, but I go and I work out every day. And sometimes when you, you know, after you shower out of the gym, you just want to be fresh. And this gives me fresh, this gives me clean, this gives me sexy, but in an understated way. And I really like it. So again, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on Gabrielle Chanel. I am so curious. You know I'm curious. Also, let me know what fragrance I should review next. Again, this was my scent of the day, so I'll be, you know, respraying again because there's just nothing that I could do wrong with this one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.